Concrete Bond, uh, third Harry Bosch. Yep, book number, number three. three. Yeah. Um, this one is there's a bit of build up with this because you've heard about like how he got into uh, the Hollywood division. Mm. Like he, you know, got it was almost like a demotion kind of thing. Yeah, um, I didn't see it coming though. I didn't see the that there'd be a court case over it like this yeah. far along. Yeah, yeah. It was quite. It was like half court case, half like kind of solving. Yeah. The new murders. I think I really enjoyed that, and um, yeah. he's still with Klitschko Moore's wife, eh? Sylvia, Sylvia, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. from the second one. Uh, do they break up in the end of this book? Uh, I think they're still together. But she's just really upset, eh? Because she was kind of freaked out. Um, there was a moment where he thought the doll maker was going to target her. Yeah, that's right. So he like rushed her to safety or whatever, or mm. something hot hiding spot and um I guess she was just like does she have a kid I can't remember if she has a kid no I don't think she has a kid but she, yeah she was just like kind of freaked out and like oh should I stay in this life with a bit of danger and I think yeah she's still with him at the end oh, but I think that his relationship with her cause um you don't really see much of it in the second one the Black Echo oh not Black Echo Black Ice mm. you don't see much of it like it's that's the new budding relationship yeah. for him and then and the start of this one all of a sudden they've been together for a while and it's yeah I guess it's like a few months later or yeah. something like that well they fit perfectly as well yeah. which is really good the only problem is that like there's a lack of like communication mm. and I think that lack of communication is largely on his side of things because he just can't yeah. he can't like he knows it as well he can't um, expose himself and the part of that is also mm. probably war trauma I'd say yep and his um, upbringing and everything else yeah with his mum because um, there was can you remember like how much is revealed about like what happened to his mum in book one and two I can't quite remember um, almost nothing right almost nothing it's um, it's I don't think there's anything in book two right I think that in the first one it's mentioned like she's and dead and, yeah. she's, she's dead and she got murdered and in this one it's, it's a like, little, little bit more exposed it, like that was used much. as like a it was um that money chandler was like oh bosh went off the rails because he's you know because of how his mum died he's trying yeah. to solve her murder and, yeah 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 that's yeah it's um that was how did you feel about that when that came out like did you i know you read it a long time ago but like for me i felt like that was a real gut punch and i felt like i was 100 yeah. percent on bosh's side like like 90 percent of the time you are but but mm. like for me, I felt like, fuck, that was, like, a low blow. Yeah. It definitely, um... Yeah, it's a low blow, but it also kind of made me question if, like, if he really did what, like, maybe he did. Yeah, like, I can see that, too. Subconsciously have some other intentions with the way he handled, handled the that, uh, that night where he killed, uh, was it Norman something? Or Norman Church. Norman Church, yeah. Um... With Bosch, there's moments in the book that really give me a thrill where it's like he's just doing a wild guess. Mm. Like he, he throws a wild guess out there to Money Chandler and he gets a reaction from her so he knows part of his guess is right. Yeah. But she's giving nothing away because she's a lawyer. Mm. And I just absolutely love that because it's a wild guess he doesn't even know but like it shows how good a detective he is that he's putting together clues that he doesn't even have yet <clears throat> yeah you know mm. um so yeah this one's about half half court case leading back to um the doll killer so this is before the books even start yeah and the other half is a copycat or accomplice to the doll killer has yeah. turned up we have to um, go through that one but um, the money chandler because she's representing the doll maker's widow yeah and they're suing Bosch for like you know like they're saying he got the wrong guy yeah they're trying to discredit him because yeah. he's um, and they're, they're trying to use this new case to discredit him yeah. as well because they're um, well, there was the concrete blonde, the lady that was murdered before. Like, there was some kind of timeline where, like, there was a discrepancy. Yeah, yeah. A few, I think a few of the murders that happened in there 
were just like shoveled in as the doll maker and not yeah some were like slightly different because it turns mm. out like there was the Norman Church guy who was doing it but he was like less calculated and more impulsive yeah than the actual doll maker guy yeah who, who ended up being the reporter dude right yep. yeah um I think it it was interesting when you saw that moment from Harmony Chandler in the courtroom she's fucking really laying into Bosch she uses his mum she uses mm. all these things did you ever stop to think oh my god Money Chandler the whole time because she got the note before the cops mm. she got the note from the killer right right she knew the whole time that Bosch was innocent Oh, okay. and she's putting the strings on him doing everything she's trying to fuck him over even more and she knows that he's innocent she probably just cares about winning her case more than what's the actual truth right it's kind of a typical lawyer kind of thing mm, that's true but like in the grander scheme of things like she's saying all this bullshit and she's rattling off this big long speech in the courthouse mm. about how Bosch is this and Bosch is that and everything else and she's trying to take the moral high ground mm. and she's saying oh look we need to have police officers defend us not go out and fucking yeah. kill people and all this other stuff like that was her ultimate demise as well because the reason all that happened like the, the reason that she ended up dying in a painful way was mm. because she had the letter or something she had the letter and she did the guy wanted yeah yeah um I thought it was cool like cool as in good writing um like Bosch was even questioning himself throughout the book like oh fuck did I get the wrong guy or like, yeah what, what the hell especially when that next case came up he was like yeah. oh my god did I get the wrong yeah. guy and um I thought it was interesting that the guy who there was a a porno cop a cop who had like oh into yeah. Porno and stuff. yeah he went to Bosch and he's like Bosch I want to help you out with this one yeah and everyone thought he was the killer for a bit yeah and Bosch put him to work and on the on the case, yeah. and they're like, "Well, what would you have done?" I didn't like put two and two together. Like, I didn't know he was the killer. Mm. And it turns out that that guy is, is just actually helping them. Yeah, but he was like, um, because he'd been working in like the the like, porno scene, kind porno of like. side of police work or whatever. Yeah, he had like developed like his own obsession like he's like filming underage people oh yeah sex or something. yeah that's right he was so yeah. he, he had it in his house and shit yeah he? yeah Ugh. yeah pretty gross eh? yeah i forgot about that Ugh. yeah um i love the um beef with bosch and irvin irving yeah uh, the boss or whatever yeah. and there's like a scene where uh, Irving wants to like show off to the cameras when they'd like recently discovered the uh, concrete bond and he had like soot on his face or something and like Bosch didn't point it out and yeah that's going. right and uh, it's funny that like um, Irving's like oh I would have brought my kit too but I left it in the other car or something like that and, right. and Bosch is like I know you don't have a kit mm. he's just like like fucking yeah no respect eh? yeah uh, but I thought it was interesting when we found out that Irving was a uh, beat cop that found his mum oh right yeah I thought that was really good because he like he called him into his office and it was almost like oh fuck what am I doing what have mm. I done now you know and then he's like oh look Bosh I didn't really get into this with you but I was the one who found your mum mm. and it's like through the questioning throughout the book with Bosh you almost think about that and the retrospect like he and he does as well like Irving probably knew his mum Hmm. what did he know about his own mum hmm. not much because he was very young when she died yeah you know and he didn't get much time with her because he I think he grew up in like uh, foster care yeah. Eh? Yeah. Mm. yeah um what do you rate this oh dude I don't know man I can't even remember what I gave the other two I think hmm. for me uh, that first book was high really high yeah. for me the second one was good yeah but I don't feel like it was as much and this one was great again I think mm. I want to give it a, I want to give it a 9 right or maybe an 8.5 I don't think it was perfect but it was really well up there for me it was yeah. good and I think with each book I find more to like about the Bosch character mm. and it's not something that I want to I want to plow through 
It's yeah. something I, w- yeah. I want to enjoy. And along with you, I know you said you didn't watch the TV until you've done the books. Mm. But I almost wanted to watch one of the, the episodes. And I put the oh. first episode on and I got through the intro. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, no, I can't do it. Oh, okay. I, I was wa- like, I'm not going to do it. No. I watched the first episode. Did you? And uh, there's a bit of Concrete Blonde in there. And some other book. It's like book eight or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, uh, maybe some, something else. I don't know. Oh, the other thing is, when I did the first one, I did the audio, and it was the 20th year edition. It was read by a Titus Weller, who's, oh, okay. who plays the yep. Bosch in the show. Yep. And there was an interview with Titus and Michael Connolly at the end. Oh, okay. And they'd worked together in something else, or mm. they did something else. And Michael Connolly was saying about how Bosch changes throughout the books, and there's something that happens somewhere along the lines... He doesn't. He doesn't actually say what it is, but he where he actually does do a few things that aren't again uh, that are against the law and are more moral than whatever else. Mm. And um, they're comparing it to the TV show and how the character in the TV show uh, grows into that a lot more, a lot faster or something like that. And that just oh, okay. it all just grew excitement for me. And yeah. I just want to know what happens in these other books. Yeah. Um, the forward for the the first book as well is like where there's almost like a dial on the back of your head and you change into each different character hmm. when you um when you're reading it and I think the real reason why this is so compelling is because Michael Connolly knew the processes that yeah. happen was he a reporter or something he was a reporter yeah but in saying that having the reporter be the killer in this book mm who knows all the processes and everything else, Yeah, he could have been the perfect killer. And not only that, like, fucking... That also shows you, like, what kind of processes were going through his mind when he was writing this book. Mm. You know? Yeah, I didn't uh, click that he was the killer until, like, you know, maybe a few seconds before the actual reveal, but, like, there's hints leading up. Yeah. Like, in that scene. Um, when the... When the did the red hearing of the cop or the mm. porno cop I was like fuck that's him right like I just jumped at it and I wasn't even thinking because I think I was so engrossed in the story yeah. and I was like yeah. um because normally I don't go for the red hearings you're normally like, oh this is a red hearing mm. <laughs> and, but this time I was like fuck it's him yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think I, I like that about this is that like I do get engrossed in the story I think when I fall into the story and I let it play out and not, I'm not thinking about it I think that's when a book for me is actually fully mm. doing yeah. its job yeah um I also like jump, jumping back to the um the Vietnam stuff mm. where it's like oh, how many people have you killed it's like I can't tell you yeah like I would blow up tunnels full of people yeah and it's like well how many people have you killed on the force and then you find out that he's actually killed someone else mm. you know he's killed and then he said that um you know he's known tw- people in the force who have been on it for 20 years and haven't killed anyone mm. um his partner oh um what's his name Edgar yeah, yeah yeah fucking what do you think of that I love his character he's like a really cool sidekick I reckon ah oh, it's weird man he that's weird I, I like it too it's like he accidentally fucks Bosch over for nothing Mm. And, he doesn't get anything out of it and yeah. and Bosch is this cause he, is this the one where like Bosch can choose to kind of report him on this but then he yeah he's gonna re- it's like in his heart he knows that he can't trust this guy right cause it's like me and you were were, were buddies we're, mm. we're not only buddies we're work buddies we have to trust each other to get along and mm. I can't trust you anymore because that's how Bosch is he doesn't yeah. if, as he, if he doesn't trust anyone don't you fucking dare call me Harry you know right, yeah. if you only call me Harry if you're my friend yeah. now you call me Bosch mm. you know um, mm. he was going to send him to another precinct and mm. fuck his partner over and his partner was going to do it on his say so yeah. but he said to him there's going to be a time where you're going to need your friends don't do this to me right now and he, mm. when he got home he was thinking about it, he was like you know what fuck I probably will need him and he did need him later on yeah. in that case which was good I love his like thought process and how he like mulls things over and same, comes to a same. decision I feel like it's uh, the modern day fucking Raymond Chandler that's actually mm. done a good job it's 
And Raymond Chandler had this um, quote in uh, The Big Sleep, and it's like, the detective is the modern day night, mm. where they're going out and they're saving the damsel in distress and everything else. Right. And then in the Nice Guys movie, the guy who directed it th- thought about that quote and said, well, in the 70s, it was like the, the nights had gotten all rusty and fat and no one wanted mm. to do anything. I feel like Bosch is now the last true knight of the police right. force and everyone else is just fucking rusty and fat and on the take and he's living in this world where everyone's doing one thing but the right thing is legally the wrong thing and yeah. he's living in the fucking grey areas yeah. and I think it's great man. I really do um, yeah I thought you'd like this series I do I do I, you know when I first got into it I was like oh this is good but you know it's it leaves something to be desired and then as it's gone on it's only gotten better mm. it really has yep so maybe number four we'll get bring on number four at some yeah. point yeah uh, do you want to review that one too or yeah 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 um, so I think I'm on maybe book seven, six or seven. Oh, okay. Well, we'll get there eventually. Um, but I'm also doing the other books in the universe. Oh, okay. Like uh, I do recommend. I think that's coming up soon. Oh, the poet, eh? Poet. Yeah, that's well, fantastic. I think if I was about halfway through this one, I think I texted you. I said, "Oh, was that was that poet one you were mm. as well?" I was thinking, "Oh shit, I might actually get that one as well." Man. And then there's another series. Um, did you ever see that Clint Eastwood movie uh, Blood, Blood Work I think it was where he gets a heart transplant and he's trying to solve the murder of the woman that gave up his heart to him no I haven't no that's cool but that's uh, another series in this universe which is pretty good as well oh cool cool yeah, um, yeah I love all of them so far um, I initially I wrote down an 8 when I first read this uh, like a year ago but like I actually want to change it to nine like did we give a rating for this or? i think you went 8.5 8.5 yeah 8.5 or um, well, i want to almost give it a nine i, would, I almost yeah. do and like on the surface like i didn't know this was going to be a court or anything but like if i had heard about that i'd be like oh this sounds kind of boring yeah but yeah. like it was enthralling like the court scene stuff was like great yes yeah and i also liked um because this is true about some things like like corporate officials and, and lawyers and people in those sorts of roles some of them are, get a little bit lax for things and mm. I feel like his lax lawyer like it was just like oh, oh I'll do yeah. this or do that and all you know yeah. don't testify oh we'll just get you off on this yeah, and I felt like that was great I felt that his her total, total dynamic was good I felt that um, Bosch actually gained some respect for him towards the end as well mm. Because it, it really went from, like, he had no respect that this guy was even going to do mm. anything for him. To... Yeah. He was found guilty in the end, eh? Yeah. But it was only, like, a dollar payment. Yeah, it was only that? a dollar payment, yeah. yeah. But the other thing is you feel guilty as the... Um, oh, you don't feel guilty, but you feel... I felt upset as the, the reader of the story because it was, like... You really want Bosch to get off because the thing is, mm. that guy was a killer. Yeah, it was because Bosch, like, broke procedure, was mm. the thing, I guess. Because he, like, he had a chance to call for backup, and he, he did, had his yeah. own justification for not doing it. But And he also went in without a warrant or something, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, because he had, like, the girl went in with the Norman Church guy, and she saw the makeup and kind of made a connection, or maybe he's the killer, and she called the yep. hotline or something, and then <laughs> Bosch was with her. And I thought that was interesting, because that came back to the porno th- girls as well. It's yeah. like, I can't remember because Norman Church is dead. Mm. I can't remember because Norman Church is dead. And it's like, fuck, well, you can't remember because everyone's pinning it on this other thing. I'm still trying to find this killer, because he's a separate killer here. Yeah. Um, I also love the way that he confronted the killer at the end. Hmm. Um, it was like in a bar or something, right? No, it was at his house. It oh. was at the killer's house. Um, they got drunk together at a bar. Oh, okay. And then he dropped him off at the police station. And this guy pretended like he was his friend the whole time. Yeah. Um, helpful reporter. Yeah, helpful reporter. Yeah. Anyway, um, he put a recording device on the radiator. Right, yeah. And then he let him like basically inter- like confess confess and yeah. fucking had him with a gun as well and his yeah. guy took the bullets out 
Yeah. Like, I did this already. Like, yeah. that is the other thing I love, is that, like, that was a full Batman moment for me. I was like, you right. were fucking three steps ahead, man. Right, yeah. And that, it returns back to that thing where the lawyer, the police lawyer, was it, the people who defend the lawyers and are uh, working for the judicial system mm. are usually the guys who just come out of, of law school. Right. And then when they get enough experience, they go on to, like, firms. Yeah. Where they get paid more. You got some young lawyer who's like, oh, Bosh, you probably shouldn't have done that. Like, mm. no, da, 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 da. It's like, you got the, he got the killer to confess. Yeah, but it's admissible in court. It's like, holy shit. We wouldn't even have gotten this guy if it wasn't for this fucking one letter. Yeah. And he talked him into, like, exposing himself. Mm. And this guy's like, oh, no. You know procedure da 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 mm. and he bollocks the guy for it he's just like fucking what are you talking about I've done detective work for 20 fucking years before you even a lawyer yeah I love that I loved it mm. shoving it down his throat <laughs> I mean yeah it's a great book um I almost want to reread it um yes. for you I, I think I probably asked you in one of the other videos but is Titus Weller the Bosch for you when you read it? Is, it um, he the, is he the guy in your mind? Pretty much, yeah, actually. I think he is He's now. He's a great fit yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah, I think he is for me now. But originally he wasn't. And I was like... Right. Because I wasn't, you know, I didn't really know very much. But mm. now he is, and I think it's great. Yeah. I think um, the early description, I think it was in the first book, is probably a little bit different to Titus, but I think he's a great choice. I think and he I is. And I do picture him and I'm thinking about like Bosch in a scene or whatever. Yeah, I put and I push him into that era as well because of the Vietnam stuff as well and yeah. everything else is great. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, the T V show modernized yeah. it. So like he Afghanistan he, or something. Yeah, something yeah. Like that, yeah. Alright, that's great man. Yeah. It's a great one. Um Yeah. Next one's uh probably just as good from what I remember. So Okay, yeah, I'll we'll yeah. have to give it a crack, eh? Yep. <laughs>